Hello dear traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. S&P 500 index is trading on the upside. It rebounded from support around 29.27 and is now above 29.50. Federal Reserve met today, American Central Bank left monetary policy unchanged and said that future uh, monetary policy will be patient. Uh, in addition, American gauge of factory activities uh, declined and um, was at the lowest level since 2016. All of that allows us to expect that the Federal Reserve will be cautious and uh, taking into account the fact that inflation is rather low, will uh, refrain from increasing interest rates this year. This is uh, positive for the stock market. However, for us to see more distinctive gains in uh, S&P 500, we will need to uh, see more dovish commands from the Fed as well as maybe some better results from the U.S. companies, which continue to report earnings for the first quarter. Actually, if we um, speak about particular companies, we need to mention Apple. As you can see, the stock formed a sizable uh, bullish gap and then went above uh, the level of 2214 we talked about yesterday. This is 78.6% uh, Fibonacci retracement of the decline we saw in 2018. And to fix above this level will open the way up towards uh, 220. All in all, as long as the price is trading above support uh, located in the area of 209-210, uh, the outlook for Apple remains positive. Although earnings and revenue declined in the first three months of the year on the annual basis, uh, still uh, the results were better than expected and that surely gives um, a boost to this stock. Apple still has some challenges, in particular uh, the sales of iPhones declined and the company faces a really tough competition in Asian markets, in particular in China. But it uh, starts to diversify its business. We know that the company will launch Apple TV Plus this year and also a credit card. So these new projects might help Apple to get a more balanced structure of business. Another company which reported earnings was Advanced Micro Devices or AMD and uh, here despite the bullish gap the stock uh, went down on Wednesday and closed this gap. Support is located around 27.30 level and taking into account the fact that the uptrend is not very steep, we can expect consolidation between this point and a resistance in the area of 30. The company showed um, solid results in the first quarter, however, the fact that demand for cryptocurrency declined and for the mining hardware, which is produced by AMD, uh, is, demand is also down, so that surely um, reduces the positive momentum for the stock. Other things to watch in the upcoming days will be the market sentiment uh, about uh, trade talks between the United States and China. Um, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin went today to Beijing and he said that uh, negotiations were productive, but they will resume next week, so don't expect any kind of uh, uh, big statements in the upcoming days. Thank you for your attention and uh, subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.